We go now to the House of Hope to retrieve the Orphic Hammer and defeat Raphael. Once we have the hammer, we'll be one step closer to freeing Orpheus. First, we must meet with Hellsick in the Devil's Fee and gain entry to the Devil's Home. We now stand before the Devil's Fee. Inside, there's an individual called Hellsick. They'll provide a key to the House of Hope. There, we'll be able to find Raphael. Edrahil, our paladin, he's had a goal to punch him in the face ever since they first met in Act 1. It's a massive store. Who is your clientele? I know it's Lord Gortash. There you are. Oh, you're not who I thought you would be. Anyway, let's say hello. I welcome thee to the Devil's Fee, where every hellish curio's a rarity. So merry be, and shop with glee. We're rhyming again? Okay, let's see. In your mystic shop, where shadows hold sway, I seek hidden wonders, both night and day. Tell me where a fiend may be, right here in the Devil's Fee. I wish I could say that, but instead, did you help Lord Gortash retrieve some hellish curios by any chance? We know that because we found some information pertaining to her and also Lord Gortash. You must be awfully familiar with our esteemed Archduke to know about a thing like that. Oh, I know a lot. I happened upon some of his correspondence that mentioned you dealing with him. Truly? That's remarkable. I like to deal with remarkable people. Very well. You seek answers. Lord Mammon seeks coin. I will happily mediate. Make me an offer. Make you an offer? I could try to persuade her. In fact, I'll do that. It's customary for any salesperson to offer a free sample. I might need to put on my charisma hat. DC 15. I've got guidance, friends too, which means we've got advantage. We beat it, easily. The first hit's free, eh? Oh, fine, I'll humor you, mortal. Just this once. You stand before Mammon's picklock, latchkeeper of the Nine Hells. My business is not information, nor hellish curios. Not really. I break people into the hells. That's my thing. I can reveal to you that I opened a portal for Lord Gortash. That's good to know. Raphael told me the crown of Carsis was stolen from Mephistopheles. Were you involved? Raphael. That sounds vaguely familiar, but I have a terrible memory for names. The only thing that jogs it is coin. Maybe if I rattle you around a little. Now that I know you're a devil, I wouldn't feel bad. I'll give you 100 gold. Here. I mean, I suppose that'll do. Stingy bastard. Yes, you are quite correct. The Crown of Carsus left the vault, and an opportunity opened for a devil named Raphael. His House of Hope is furnished with a great deal of treasures, many related to Carsus. But alas, he lacks the crown itself. He's rather ambitious. One can only wonder what he has planned for the crown. The answers to that can probably be found within his house. Perhaps it's time we paid Raphael a visit. Oh, I agree. Can you help me break into the House of Hope? I know that you can. What a fascinating proposition. Ludicrous, of course, but fascinating nevertheless. Very well. If you wish to die in Avernus, that's your business. Mine is charging you for it. Of course, such a task will require quite the substantial donation to Lord Mammon's coffers. Such a task would be tantamount to suicide. Do not even entertain it. The old squid doesn't want me to do that. That's really interesting. That means I need to. 
I could be kind to her, but I don't want to. I've got the gold. I sell everything that I find. We're going to use intimidation. You'll cut that price in half. Or I'll cut you in half. A DC of 25. Let's try it. A 30. <laughs> Far be it from me to overlook reason, reflected in the edge of a blade. Half it is. Okay. All right. It's a good thing that I'm very good at diplomacy. Shadowheart said I wasn't, but look at that. Very well. Here you go. Why? The risk almost seems worth it when there's such pretty coins involved. Allow me to outline how this is going to work. First, you were never here. We never spoke. Second, you will perform the rites yourself. I want absolute deniability. Here's the grimoire and necessary components. Oh, take this key, too. It unlocks the ritual room upstairs. There's a blood circle already drawn. Don't ask whose blood. Along with the grimoire and components, Helsick hands you a note containing precise instructions for performing the ritual. Finally, you were never here. That is of utmost import to remember. Now be gone! What do we have here? A grimoire bound in imp skin. Delightful. Well, I've got instructions. To open the portal, you've got to place the items in their proper places on the blood star. The skull goes right by the star point near the altar. The coin goes on the next point to the right. Counting clockwise, skip a point and place the diamond on the next one. Incense and infernal marble. All right, I think I've got it. Though a sketch would have been a lot easier. Let's go upstairs. We'll find what we need. Oh, I can't wait. We're going to the hells. That's curious. I'll have a look later. I'm busy right now. All right. Oh, there is blood everywhere. She wasn't kidding. I strongly suggest you reconsider this course of action. No, I disagree. What you expect to gain from the Hells is not worth the risk of traveling there uninvited. I'm telling you, the more that you tell me that, the more that I want to go. We're not a fan of the calamari. Ooh, hello, right by your bed? <laughs> That's got to be good. A coin too, but I've already got one. Let's have a look. A Mask of Soul Perception. Gain a plus two bonus to attack rolls, initiative rolls, and perception checks. That's amazing. I'll probably give it to Lazelle. Yeah, she could use it. I'll come back to loot more later, but here we are. I know where I need to put my things, I believe. Marble, you'll go right in the middle. Actually, hold on, I'll close that. And here we go. That worked out. Okay, the skull, I know that goes over here. The coin, it should be there, right by that chest. All right, I've got it. Only a few more to move around. The incense and a diamond. I forgot about that one. Oh, hold on, I'll move it again. There we go. But there is no reason by invading his home. That's where we can agree to disagree. There's many reasons. Time to go inside. That was a quick trip. We're now in the House of Hope. I could lockpick that door easy enough. Let's have a look around. The music, it's quite eerie. I like it. My mind's grown quiet. The Emperor can't reach out to me here. He's not going to be able to talk to us. Maybe we should live here. What a view. Yeah, of the hells. All right, let's have a look at that door. Asterion isn't here, but Lazelle could open it. You came. Such a shame. 
Curiosity killed all the cats. It won't be so kind to you. As the woman speaks, you hear a distant rattle of chains, and she winces in pain. <sighs> the jailer will hear us. I shouldn't be talking to you. I must go. It's not kind to me. The figure flickers and starts to dim from view, but you sense she could be convinced to return. Hope is named after a person. Raphael has a twisted sense of humor, which means he's squatting in your house. Wait, don't go. Who are you? The figure shimmers brightly. Your words seem to have piqued her curiosity. Who am I? Oh, that's my favorite question. I scream it into the dark while I sleep, and whisper it to my memories when I wake. I'm the thing that kills you, and the only reason you're alive. Made by a promise, and done by the truth. A handshake, a hug, the first beat of a newborn's heart. I am hope. What little is left of her. A guttering candle in a universe of night. I'm not much of a friend to anyone anymore. But I could use a friend myself. Do you want a friend to guide you through this madhouse? I hear the jailer. It hears me. It'll call Raphael, make every question kind. Make some of them kind twice. Yeah, I'll do that. You must ask of the Orphic Hammer. Without it, the Prince of the Comet and the Githyanki people remain forever chained. I'll take care of it, Lazel. I need to find the Orphic Hammer. Can you help? Discovered an ancient Gith prince in need of a savior? The Orphic Hammer is the perfect tool for breaking all infernal chains. Hope can help. The hammer is here in this house. It's... You hear a sound like the rattle of a chain and an agonizing scream in your head as hope flickers from view momentarily. Everyone here is mad, even you, especially me. And that makes them dangerous, but it also makes them stupid. I'll make you seem as ruined as the rest of the people here. A simple glamour to make you a terrible wretch. <laughs> now whisper your questions, little wretch, but really quiet and very clever. Concentrate. I feel like they would still recognize me, but I'll run along with it. I've got one response for my paladin class and also performance with my plus five from charisma. I'll use it. Speak as the whispered promise, soft but assured. A DC of 10. Easy. You've got it. A 24. Remember, quiet as a mouse. Sure. Tell me about that hammer. If I want to free her, then I'll probably need that hammer. The same place you'll find your sorry little soul when Raphael rips it out. In the archive down the corridor past the debtors. Oh, the debtors. They won't like you. But I like you. I know I do. I think I do. I hope I do. I just need to ask one question and I'll know for sure. Yeah, sure. What is it? Can you save me? Please, 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 please. You are adorable. We're going to save you, no matter what. Of course. You don't even know how. All right. You have to listen very, very, very closely. I will say this only once. Find the key, take the hammer, smash my chains. Find the key, take the hammer, smash my chains. Find the key, take the hammer, smash my chains. But be careful when you take the hammer, the fire will come. And Raphael, you must run, 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 run. But don't forget me. Please, please, please. I don't want to burn. Not again. 
The rattle of chains echoes louder from unseen places, and without a scream or a sigh, hope disappears. Hobo gang, let's go. What path lies before me? I'll try not to talk to too many people. It's probably a bad idea to draw the ire and attention of those who the dwell here. Were guests, and all of the guests will be residents. I disagree. Debt consolidation. Oh, they had a party. Perhaps this dinner wasn't to their liking. Yeah, maybe not. Mm. Who are you? You shouldn't be here. None of us should. I'll talk to that mason in a bit. He stands out. He's a skeleton. But why is he a skeleton moving around, but the others are not? Ah, here we go. Some more doors to open up. I don't have a key, but again, I've got Lazel. That should hopefully work out. 25 for a DC. Alright, let's add Astral Knowledge. We've got more Dexterity. A 14. It didn't work out. Alright, fine. I'll find a key. Wait, hold on. I've got more tools. Perfect. A 25 right where we need it. Well, thank you. Now, who's in here? More people. You're smoldering. And you are devoured. I can tell. What? Over here. Oh, hope again. Okay. Something over there. Hi. You. Hello again, little mice. The price for speaking is steep, but I must give warning. Your prize is just ahead in the archive, but you can't take it yet. And even if you could, you mustn't. Trigger the alarm, and Raphael will come swooping home on wings of malice to rip out your soul. In this house, thieves are melted like butter and spread onto toast. Shh. I'm doing it again. I'm doing it again. After we're done here, we're going to get you a hot chocolate. It's going to be okay. I need you to stay calm, Hope, and guide me. I can. I shall. I can. I shall. The archivist is the key, but he's as stubborn as a king and as serious as a heart attack. Exploit his piddling weakness and make him grovel! Oh no. They hear me. Speak quickly, speak softly. You know how this goes. I sure do. A little bit better than you, it seems. I'll use my charisma. Concentrate on speaking softly and without emotion. A DC of 15. You've got a high charisma. An 18. You study your mind and prepare your questions. Okay. How should I handle the archivist? Fierce authority figures. Perhaps his teacher took a strap to him and left a deep impression at an early age. There's one regular visitor that he particularly fears. She is... A crack like breaking bone. Hope winces. Well, tell me. I need a name. DC of 18. We've got to press. 27. We passed. Scarier things than you, little mice. Virilius. Virilius Receptor. A High Inquisitor of Zariel. Officially entitled to audit Raphael's collection. Her true form is so gargantuan and mind-scarring to behold that she takes on many guises when she visits. Play your part well and you can be one of those blasphemous guises. Edra Hill has not really used deception before, but in the hells, why not? He's not above tricking a few devils. It's a taste of their own bitter medicine. There you are. Wait, it's Carilla. In that same agent who's been following us around. Two dwarfs in a house. Interesting. The master is very indulgent of you, Carilla. But I will not let you bring disorder into the archive. I'm not bringing anything, you little false pot. I'm just here to watch the story unfold. Well, well, well. Look what we have here. A guest? Are you a 
client of the Master, or a visitor from elsewhere in the Hells, I do not believe you were invited. One moment. I shall consult the visitor's schedule. Hmm. 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 Most irregular. The schedule is all but clear, and yet you are here. You need to shave it, bud. It's looking kind of nasty. All right, time to deceive him. I am Virilius Receptor, Zeriel's High Inquisitor. Look at me, I look like one. A DC of 15. Guidance, friends again. Oh, we're gonna nail it. A 24. A thousand apologies, O oh Majestic Magistrate of the Infernal Court. Your mortal guise is so vile, I found it perfectly convincing. I would prostrate myself before you and kiss your calluses, but my spine is ruptured in a thousand places. You do know how Raphael likes to play. As always, the archive is yours to peruse. You'll find everything accounted for, and I can present documents of procurement if necessary. I would like to see the hammer, of course. But, hold on. Here's a new response I would like to use. I might have to confiscate a few of these artifacts. You may examine them, O oh diabolical dominatrix. But they cannot be removed unless you present a writ of infernal requisition with Article 152 correctly filled out. Ah, the true devil. A bureaucrat. I would like to see that hammer. An exquisite and most unique artifact. Crafted with materials hewn from the depths of the hells by Raphael's Merrigan labor force. As it was created by Raphael himself, we have no documents of procurement, nor do we require any. But if you wish to examine the artifact itself, you are more than welcome. As part of the special collection, that item is guarded by a master word that even I do not know. I suggest you wait until Raphael returns, and you can discuss the matter with him. You are welcome to relax in the boudoir until then. It is where Raphael conducts his most private matters of business and pleasure. You will need this to gain access. The resident of the boudoir will wish to explore every inch of your new form, and I'm sure you will be happy to share. Can't resist the faintest hint of a temptation, can you? I suppose that makes two of us. That little disguise Hope gave you is adorable. I can see right through it, of course. And so will Raphael. He's going to notice you nosing around his house. I hope you're ready to face a very angry devil. That's my secret. I've been angry the entire time. Carilla, don't you worry about me. I'm craftier than you think. I already convinced the archivist here that I belong. Hardly a challenge. Your little ploy gave him an excuse to cross-check lots of paperwork. Enough to keep him happy for months. The only thing that'll keep Raphael happy is dismantling you, piece by piece. Sure. I mean, you can say that, but I've got a plan. I'm gonna hit him really hard. What are you doing here? Me? This is home base. I'm not even going to ask what you're doing here. Plausible deniability. Might want to steer clear of my sister Hope, though. She's mad as a March hare. If she'd just agreed to serve Raphael, he'd probably have released her a long time ago. As things stand, she's his favorite toy. We're all mad here. But Hope and Hell? Why, that's the definition of insanity. Crazy, huh? Well, woohoo! You're talking to the right guy. Myself and Hope have formed an alliance. We're gonna get out of here, together. Excellent! A scheme of lunatics. A conspiracy of fools. I can't wait to see how it ends. With extreme violence and a hint of grotesque farce, I suspect. Watch your back now. Raphael has something I want. Help me find it. She's not gonna do it, but 
Let's fish. Unlike you, I don't have a death wish. Or an eternal torment wish. You want my advice? Enjoy whatever life remains to you. When Raphael catches you, you'll never enjoy anything again. Good seeing you too, Gorilla Gorilla. I had Lazelle look around. There's a few items I want to pick up, and then we'll go over to the boudoir. Alright, I've got one potion of invisibility. I won't be able to go back to camp unless I go back to the Devil's Fee. I'm not going to do that right now. An efficient pause. I've seen Indiana Jones. I know a good trap when I see one. Another if you've got forward. some precious item, it's going to have a pressure plate. Also, Lazel saw them. Here's a black. Reach. Amulet of greater health. I want it. Yoink. There goes my invisibility. A shame. I only need to pick up one more. So, I wonder. Could I get you to follow me, Archivist? Would you follow me? Oh, I do hope so. Because once we're done here, we're going to have to get away. For sure. All right. Actually, an arrow of darkness. I'll shoot that. Hopefully break their line of sight. That worked out. And we've got it. Let's get out of here. We need to leave right away. Ha ha ha. That hammer, I'll come back for it. That's where Lazelle would whistle for us, and we would say, Oh, pardon me. I've got things to do. All right, so what we'll do, we'll look around. Oh, hold on. A rich clock. Listen. I'm taking that home with me. Listen. No, I don't want to. I really don't want to. But mine. Thank you. Yeah, hopefully he's not going to alert Raphael. I doubt it. A chamber pot? Why? Oh, you're someone that Raphael doesn't like. Hellfire. The great gift of Mephistopheles. An overpowering stench singes your nostrils. Nothing good happened here. <laughs> you're not kidding. Alright, so where we need to go is over to the left. There's a mystic force curtain. Alright. Anything else? Well, that's shiny. I do want to touch it. My perception fell. That's curious. Infernal that's gem. Awesome. I'm not magical, but you are, Gail. You touch it. A DC of 10 for wisdom. Okay. A 19. He made it. Do we need to touch it again? We do. Arcana. Now that's in your wheelhouse. A DC of 20. We've got a 21. What do we have in here? Oh boy. That's a lot of gold. 666. Iconic. And a Hell Dusk Helmet. Infernal Sight. You can see a magical and ordinary darkness up to a range of 12 meters. You cannot be blinded. Magical durability. The wielder has a plus two bonus to saving throws against spells. And no one would be able to land a critical hit. We also get immolating gaze. Well, I've got a helmet for you, bud. What's over here? A staff of spell power. All right. I'll give it to Gel. And hold on. A contract for Mole? Okay, I'll give it to Mole. That little tiefling child. I didn't know you had a contract with a devil. Or if I did, I forgot. All right. Let's have a look at that staff. Arcane Enchantment. You gain a plus one bonus to spell save DC and spell attack rolls. Arcane Battery. Essentially, a free spell slot. That means I would be able to cast three level six spells. Amazing. There you go, Gel. Yeah, put that on. He's got two. Oh, I also had him use Koreska's Favor, and that's why he's got a few extra spells. I thought that would be handy to have free spells again. All right. It's time to go inside. I wonder what we're going to find in here. Show Probably some invitation. pretty nasty stuff. My invitation. Sure. Oh, we made it. I thought you'd got lost and died. Not me. Let's talk to her. The archivist told you to cool off in the boudoir. Well, here it is. 
a horrid place where pleasure is pain and pain is pleasure and hope cannot live at all. It's probably sticky everywhere. I'm gonna have to wash up once we're done. Any advice before I head inside? Everything in this house exists for Raphael's pleasure and Raphael's pleasure alone. That includes Raphael himself. Whatever form he takes. Oh boy, that's a bit ominous. That does look relaxing, but should mind my step. I need to handle business first. Every day there is less of me. Very tragic. An auto save, a hint from the game that things are about to get intense. That's curious. You know what? Let's wash our hands. Sure. Oh. oh, that's a long rest. That's really good for us. I'm going all out then. Yeah, we've got to. We've all got our spell slots. We're all ready to move in. Let's go say hello. Ooh, a button. I'll press it. A lost little mouse is running through the house. A thief in the night, greedy and here to take. Why are you here, little thief? Harlep. Oh, an anagram. I get it. I can already smell the fumes wafting. I hate it here, and I hate you. Raphael, you're looking very skimpy. Raphael? Ha! No. You will have a far crueler master than Raphael soon. But what inspired you to pay him a visit? I don't need to lie, not here. I'm gonna get that hammer. You can't stop me. Hmm. Raphael all but spent himself to get that hammer. And you want to take it off him? This is very naughty. Whatever are we to do? Why don't we play a game? You win, I give you everything you desire. <laughs> but you'll enjoy yourself more if you lose. Andrew Hill's holy hole is off limits. Not for you. I'm not gonna play with you. No. There is one way to leave here alive, darling. Play with me, pretty please. I'd hate to have to kill you. You can try. You will make a pretty feast. We get to go first. Well, not Edger Hill, but that's okay. Lazel, I would like for you to go say hello. Yeah, go punch him a lot. Right there, right by the bed. I wonder who does all the chores. Ugh, changing those sheets? I wouldn't want to do it. Stunning strike? Yeah, try to stun him. That would be great. He is stunned. That's even better. Next, we'll try to topple him. I mean, he would like that. He's like, yes, I want you to fist me. No, we shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have said that. I'm very sorry. <laughs> We're gonna end our turn in just a moment, but we get to blast. I've got some key within me, and I would like to blow him apart. Well, once I get more key. I thought I had some, my bad. All right, Shadowheart, it's your turn. I'll move you right over here. If you need to move further, then you will, but you probably don't need to. Fire damage, that wouldn't really do it. She's got a lot of fire damage. That makes my life a little more difficult. So instead, what we'll do, we'll shoot at him for fun. Target practice. There's a shaft. All right, your turn is over. For the ages. Gel, you get to go. All right, let's pop one over. Click your heels. He's gonna jump in the air, click him. Then get to running. Yeah, dash on over, do that. You've got evocation, which means I don't have to worry about friendly fire. A cone of cold. Yeah, he does need to chill out, huh? A level six cone of cold. We're gonna use arcane battery. No, actually, we won't do that. No. All right, he's got mental fatigue. He's tired. You're done too, Lazel. Oh God, those imps were ready. Counterspell. 
<laughs> You've been stopped. But there's many more. Oh dear, there's many, many more. I could go after them right away. Maybe I should. That might be a safer route. In fact, we'll jump over. Yeah, I'll take care of him in a moment. But until then, die trash. I nearly got one. What about a cleave? I could hit two of them. That was good. All right. Two imps dead. Wait, hold on. Fleeting protection doesn't matter. In turn, their turn. You missed, not once, but twice. He's got a decent AC. Ooh. Yeah, they're not doing too well, huh? That's why I do like to move first. Improved warding flare. Now you've got disadvantage. It still hit him. That knockback is quite dangerous. Thankfully, we're not by a ledge. All right, he's back up. Lazel, hit him right in his throat again. Once more, stunned. All right, what do we do here? Key resonation, that's what I need. It's a new ability for me to use. And after that, let's see. Another attack. Well, no, he's resonating. Time to blast off. That was okay. It could have been better. Topple him. All right, he is toppled. Nearly dead, too. Well, nearly destroyed. I'll hit him again. I'm not going to push him away, but I would like to try to stagger him, too. He's gone. That was quick. That was easy. All right, Gale, come over here. A cone of cold. Again? Well, you'll have to move closer. No, instead, I want you to... Artistry of War. That would be fun. Yeah, we'll do that. I want you to hit quite a few of them, if you don't mind. Take him out. Oh, that was a lot of damage. Good job. All right, he's done. Shadowheart. We've got that imp. Yeah. She's going to move over. My fire damage won't be able to do anything, but I've also got a sunbeam. Target is blocked. Not anymore. I would hope not. Oh, I took damage again. Hold on. Let's have a look. Oh, it's not there anymore. I'll have to check on that later on. I'm taking damage in response. Radiant damage. You won't need to drink a potion. No. All right, all of you are done. Their turn, but you are blinded. Counter spell, I'll do it anyway. <laughs> Being denied, that's got to be frustrating. You missed again. All right, Edger Hill, you've got it. Oh, you're not dead? Surprising. Now you are. All right, I can't reach my other target. I wish I could. Oh, I really wish I could. But that's okay, we're done. All right, Gel, magic missile. No, 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 no. Lightning bolt. Level five. I love being able to go hard. That's a lot of fun. All right, about the body of Harlep. What do you have? You've got Hell Dusk gloves. Wait, you weren't wearing them, so where did you keep them? Ugh. Infernal Acuity, you gain a plus one bonus to spell attack rolls and spell save DC. Oh, Will's gonna be fully decked out. Infernal Touch, your weapon attacks deal an additional one to six fire damage or necrotic if unarmed. Nice, key two. All right, I've got what I need. I'll come back to pillage later. Hmm. What's that? A trap. Okay, do I have a kit? I don't have a kit. Crap. Okay. All of us, we need to move away. I should have brought more. Asterion, he's got them all. If I've got to poke it, I'll poke it. There it is. Oh. Okay. That really wasn't a problem. Now we have what we need. Soul coins for Carlac and notes too. The actors have finally reached Baldur's Gate. So I can commence the next stage of my play. They have learned the Ashel Prism secret, but I will tell them that I have the key, the Orphic Hammer, the only thing that can break the prince's chains. 
The hammer will be kept safely in the archive, protected by a password. What shall it be, perhaps? Maybe, give me my heart's desire. Corny. Words what a cornball. These should lift the dome in the archive. Yeah, maybe so. Hopefully I'm not missing too much. Ooh, hold on, a chest. And I've got to rest up. There's one hit. Two hits. Ooh, these are really good. An arrow of aberration slaying. All of that good stuff. Yeah, give it to me. I feel safe saying that now. Harlep is dead. He can't hurt me. All right, everyone, get in here. Who's missing? Oh, <laughs> Lazelle. My mistake. You also need to get over here. It's a public bathhouse. And we all feel better. Nice. All right. Yeah, that's really good. I could do so much while I'm here. I could get aid. I could do a lot. Yeah, I think I'll do that before we head out because I'll be able to rest up each and every time. In fact, if I wanted to, I could do things like, let's see, not acid, not energy. Ah, there we go. Protection from fire. Yeah, I'll take that. In fact, I'll buff everyone up. We're going to wash up again, then head back to the archives. Oh yeah, I'm being very rude. I need to show off what items we picked up. The Amulet of Greater Health. It sets your constitution to 23. That's incredible. Advantage on con saving throws. And I gave our gloves to Lazel. She's got Gauntlets of Hill Giant Strength. Plus one to strength saving throws. Sets her strength to 23. Imagine you get to respec with all of that known. Yeah, that makes you powerful. Very, very powerful. Oh, also, I made sure to buff us all up, like I said I would do, and I've got aid. I was able to cast that by Shadowheart at level 6, so that's 25 more HP. We've got our Hero's Feast. We've got all that we need. Even a Shield of Faith. 24 AC. Feeling good, feeling strong. Now, about that hammer... <laughs> It's going to lead to a bit of drama, but it's my hammer now. I wonder if I should knock him out. I like his voice. He should read a few books to me. Anyway, over to the impervious sphere until I touch it. There it is. The Orphic hammer, right within reach. It appears to be protected by an energy field of some kind. But you're not familiar with this magic. You know the words. Now speak them. Lazelle, I don't need encouragement. I've got it. <laughs> Number two is pretty funny. It is I, Raphael. Lower your defenses. No, I'm going to speak the magic words. Give me my heart's desire. The magic blinks away at your words. Be ready. A devil does not so readily give up his toys. I saw in his bedroom. That's true. He's pretty nasty. All right. We could grab it right now. The autosave tells me it's going to be grim. Everyone, you got your pants on? Okay, I do. For now. Let's pick it up. Doink! Just rang Raphael's dinner bell. <laughs> you are the entire... <laughs> cool. You claim to be who you are not. Stole from my master, and now you expect to leave. The moment you step outside this room, all hells will break loose. Now hold on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> a hopeless situation. <laughs> you know what? I am going to knock him out. Hey, buddy, come back. Where are you? Oh, did he leave? Well, lucky him. That's okay. All right, we'll talk to... Where are you? Lazelle, then we'll get out of here. Yes, the hammer is ours. The means to Orpheus's release is in our hands. To the Undercity, Vos must hear of our victory. When we next enter the Astral Prism, we will break Orpheus free. For now, keep focused. Raphael will come to take back his treasure. This is our chance to find out how much this devil bleeds. Are we all vibrating a lot? I feel like we are. I've got nothing to say, just yeah. I've got something to release all over Raphael. It's my power, my holy divine power. I don't know what you were thinking. All right. I've got good news. A bad news. A worst news. 
Good news. You got what you came for. Successful visit. Great success. Fantastic work. Bad news. So many things will be on fire when you step outside of this room. You included. That's okay, no, right? It's hell. You expected it to be hot. Worst news, Raphael's on his way home and oh boy, oh boy, he is sprinting mad. You planned for this. I know you did. You have everything under control. It's really important that you don't panic, even when your eyes evaporate from the heat. Come to my prison, bring the hammer, break my chance, and then we exit stage any which way. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll be there. Quick as a cockroach, lickety split if you don't mind. We could fight straight to where we need to go. There's only one section I haven't really been to. So it's got to be there. There's going to be some hatch, some stairs, something that leads me to my target. Huh, you're all alone. All right, well, it's cutting time. Let's go. Oh, there's hope. But it looks like those individuals blow up to turn into creatures, like a boar. And we've also got a great ball of fire. Ooh, I don't like that. All right, so what am I going to do about you? Ice storm? Yeah. Use it. I'll take you on, Hellsphere. What else do you have? You've got Hellfire. 66 fire damage. Oh, that's really bad. Could we take it on? Probably. Click heals. Move over. Go by hope. For fun. Did you get distracted? Me too. By the teeth in my arteries. <laughs> I, I really shouldn't laugh, but... Oh, man. That's really messed up. All right. Let's get in. There's one attack. And it only took two hits. We did it in two hits. I'm here to save time. Okay, Gel, you're done too. Shadowheart, you're gonna move up. What else are we gonna use over here? Create water? We could do that for fun. Actually, if those individuals blow up, maybe I shouldn't create some water. I'm gonna head over to the bathhouse. I'll circle around largely because I want to restore my spells, especially if we're gonna have to fight. I might as well do that. All right, so what you're gonna do right now, you're gonna use a cunning action. You're gonna dash. Could you make it way over here? Because if you can't, oh, you can, that's cool. All right, here comes Lazel. Ooh, it's punching time. There's one, an imp, huh? I'm not worried about no stinking imp. We're all done. A blast, counter spell. I love doing that. It's so gratifying. I will tell you the sound design for the spells, they're incredible. They all stand out, I know what they are. They just feel good. All right, we're gonna try out, let's see, Array of Frost for fun. Yeah, we'll do that. 38 damage, that's pretty good. I wonder, could I actually beat you? I would like to try. Let's give it a go. <laughs> I could beat it, okay. I'll take that, a pommel strike. I wonder if I'm meant to, or maybe I'm meant to run from them. You know what? I like a challenge. We're going to beat up a sphere. Because I can, because I want to, because it's kind of funny, really. So that's my plan. Though I've got so many fire spells, it makes my life pretty tough, at least for Shadowheart. She's only got so many options. We could use a good bless. Yeah, that would work out. Well, one target is too far away. That would be Lazel, unless I moved a little bit further. So that could work. Or if I want to make it easier, haste on Lazel. Oh, a nightmare for everyone who's not on our team. She's done for now. Punch away. In fact, while we take out our target, she could move up and clear the way. Alone, probably. I'm not worried about them. Yeah, we'll save time by doing that. Then we'll all move up together. Ooh, one more attack. Hates on her. It's no joke. Yeah, she's done for the moment. There's another target, right? Oh yeah, right there. I'll wait for them. They'll come to me. She's taking damage, but it's okay. I ram on Edrahill. There goes my elemental weapon, Divine Smite. Only 19 damage. But we've nearly got it. Alright. Back over to him. Oh, you're breaking everything. Divine Smite again. Again after that. Oh, we're not done. We'll keep on hitting it. I'll have to buff up once we're done. Ooh, heck yeah. Any good loot? Nope, just a lot of hellfire. Let's go. Thankfully, I'm doing okay. All right, he's done. 
after that, we just need to move a lot. So click heals, run all the way over here. Yeah, there we go. All right, let's see. Shadowheart, it's your turn. Dashing time, of course. She's going to advance. Yeah, I think I probably would have respect her. Maybe like a Tempest Cleric or something fun like that. Because fire damage is not doing that. The Fury of Storm or Fire doesn't bother me. All right, so Lazelle, you've got your own thing going on. I'm going to keep on moving because I've got to. I don't really have a choice right now. Oh, we weren't all in combat too. That's way. pretty interesting. Could I shoot at that imp? I can. Yeah, we'll take out that one for fun. Another shot. My camera's going crazy with where it's at right now. I could misty step forward. Yeah. We are right by the bathhouse, so why not do that? Okay. Gale is also going to move up. There's a bit of fire, but a little bit of fire never killed us, right? Again, I'm not using my AoE only because I don't want my teammates to slip on ice. 31 damage. Swift Pretty cool, right? I think so. All right, the team is back together. We are right by where we need to be. Let's rest up. Then I'll buff back up and we'll go back out there. Always gonna wash your hands after killing half of your enemies. We'll clear out the entire way, then I'll worry about the prison. I do feel bad for them, but I can't do anything about that. All right, Gail, I don't need to hold back. In fact, what we'll do, we'll use our summoning spells whenever we go to confront Raphael. That should be the ticket, I think, I hope. All right, so we nearly got that target. We got them now? Hey, how about that? All right. Only a few more to get rid of, like that target. Provided there's no more balls, we'll be okay. Yeah, one more to worry about. Let's move over. Again, magic missile, level six. Oh, man. Like a machine gun of magic. Awesome. All right, Edrahill, let's end it. Divine Smite, we got them. I'll probably clear out that feasting hall. Go back to the bathhouse, then finally, the prison. Right here. Hey, Hope. Before I talk to her. Wait, what did I do? Ooh, a scroll of Misty Step. Those are handy. No time to waste. Come quickly, come nigh. Careful. The jailer will swallow you whole if you take another step. You won't be able to see me while you're being digested. You find my prison. My body is held in chains just beyond. The whole house is tumbling down and Raphael striding across the plains to come catch a mice. And I swing that big, beautiful hammer, crack open my chains and let's get out of here. It's time to buy this coop on a hope and a prayer. He's striding. Well, what an idiot. He's got portals all over. Any advice when it comes to fighting Raphael? Oh, no, no, no. She won't be able to help me with that. Let's do it. You sound so brave, but we really don't have a choice. Don't worry, Hope. We're coming. There's a big red button. Not in the same way as Harlap. Is it like one giant boss or what? No, she's chained. But I've got to destroy not one crystal, but two. There's two spectators, but I'm more worried about the imps. They could easily, easily blow us away. If I had a scroll of dimension door, this would be a bit easier. I know that Gale does, but he's not the one who's going to move in. The Orphic Hammer is really nothing special. Not at all. So let me think about what I want to do. Okay. Lazel, you'll have to be the one to move in. For everyone else, I want you to stealth. Yeah, Shadowheart, you too. I'm going to need you. Onward. We could fight through them. I could put up a wall of stone behind us. That way we can't be blown over the edge. We could funnel them all in. That would be the combat route. But what about the very precarious great escape route? Let's try that in case maybe you don't want to fight everyone. Or it would be a pain to fight everyone. All right. So we're going to need invisibility. That's what we're going to need. Greater invisibility at that. Invisibility. There. Now, I want you to move over to the left. Stay very quiet. Lazelle, you'll have to move quickly. You've got the hammer. Hopefully, that'll be sufficient. We're going to see very, very soon. Okay, they're looking at you. I do hate that. 
Don't look at me. Go away. Ah, forget it. I'm going for it. All right, I got one I'm not seeing yet because I've got stealth up. Funnily enough, I don't want it to be up after we're done with that crystal because I want to ensure that we're first when it comes to battle. Free! I never thought I would be believed I could be hoped I might be. Heads will rule! But we must dress the holly fint in the room. I can see how you avoid looking at me. I must be so terribly mutilated after all these decades of torture. Don't hold back. Tell me how bad it is. Actually, Hope, I wish we had an act four. That way you could be our companion. You're beautiful, Hope. I'd blush if they had left me any skin to red in, and I would kiss you if they had not torn off my lips. No, really. You look fine. You truly are the kindest fool I've ever met. We'll carve our way to the entrance hall and chop Raphael into messes. That's the hopeful version, of course. The likely version is that we are the messes and he is the chopper. Onwards! All right, let's hope for the best. After that, I'm going to need Shadowheart. Shadowheart, you're going to use Sanctuary. I'm hoping they're not going to be able to bother her when I use it. If they can, that's going to be an issue. A major one at that. So... Let's hope that, again, she's going to be okay. She's got it for 10 turns. We're going to move over here. Crouch. Lazel. I want you... I mean, you could attack someone if you want to, but... Yeah, that Reaper's armor from Kethric would be great, where you can't be knocked over. That would be really, really good. So, we've done our part. I don't have any way to teleport her. I don't have my Dimension Door Scroll. I really, really wish I did, but I don't. So, we're just going to move over like that. And we're going to just wait for them to get in here, if they want to. Please let me be correct on my assumption. Where they can't hit her outside of using AoE spells. Okay. I never know if the enemies are going to have some exception because I'm one tactician and I've got my difficulty mods. That's not good. Okay, she's paralyzed. I'll have to figure that out in just a moment. We're going to have to use freedom of movement after that. But do I need to touch her? Yeah, I need to be like right by her in order to do that. So we might even just have to wait for her to be ready. A blast. Counterspell. You'll do nothing. There's Gale. So my plan didn't work out perfectly. I was hoping that maybe, just maybe, it would. I've got a globe of invulnerability. I wouldn't be able to use my invisibility unless I go over there. And I don't want to do that. I mean, there's a chance I can... No, I probably couldn't make it. A bonus action for a Misty Step would be a decent way to do that, but I wouldn't be able to use my Click Heals, so that would be a pain, so I don't want to do that. What about my Globe? Let's see if that would help her out. But no, she's too far away again. Crap. Okay, so I would have to actually be over there, and I don't want to be over there, so we're going to ignore it for right now. I can't build my wall. I was wondering if Darkness could do it, like... If that would block the blast, or no, they could probably see in darkness, I would imagine. All right, let's be patient. Let's see. Click heals. Move over here. Wait there. All right. We're just going to have to wait for a moment. If they want to move towards me, okay. I only need her to just survive for one round. That's all that I need right now. And I suppose I do have arrows that would be able to get her out of that situation. So that might be the other call then. All right, hold on. Let me actually get rid of your hammer. You don't need that crap. You don't need that. You're a puncher. All right. Radiant damage? No, 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 no. Manifestation of mind? Yeah, switch those two. Even necrotic would be fine. All right, back to them. They're not doing too much. It's only the spectators who are being annoying. Oh, one is flying over. Uh-oh. I could take him on. A wounding ray, 21 damage. Ouch. All right, she made her save. Two more imps. They won't be able to touch her. Good. Oh, there's a blast. Counter spell. Nope. Won't let you do that. And hope you get to move. That's great news. Okay, so we want to jump over. You've got to be able to do that. Yeah, perfect. She's in it. She's made it, mostly. I want her to get out of here. Okay, then I'm gonna have Gail. <laughs> I 
I can't shut the door, can I? If I could press a button, that would be great. I would love to be able to do that. The mechanism is locked oh. and can't be used again. All right, you know what? Screw you guys. We've got a globe of invulnerability. We're going to wait here for just one moment. Then we'll all leave, hopefully, after we're done. Yeah, we'll do that. I'm not going to have everyone evacuate just yet. There's Shadowheart. Invulnerable. Good. A bite. That missed. We're making saves. Oh, can you not get through? Because if you can't, that's awesome. Hold on. Let me give you your sword back. And, oh, hold on. I don't want your helmet to be up during those situations. Let's All right. End this. Let's see here. You two would go last. You are also invulnerable. I could probably push you back, I would imagine. Let's do that. Yeah. Now you're no longer invulnerable. Then we're just going to do this. <laughs> Leave. We're leaving. All right. Shadowheart, it's your turn. I'm going to get you out of here. I think you're mostly good to go. Well, if I do that, would you be able to maintain your spell? I would think so. I could be wrong, but I would think so. We could also put out a good distraction, like a weapon. Yeah, do that. Put out a weapon. You've got a few other things you could use. A Guardian of Faith. That would also work out, just to bother them. Just a little bit, just to obscure them. Yeah, there you go. All right. Let's also try to get out of here. Did you make it? Okay, she's able to make it. Then we've got Lazelle, Shadowheart, Edrahill. Edrahill will also move out. And we'll see. We'll just see if I've doomed us all or if we're going to be okay. Oh, he can't actually move that far at the moment. Uh-oh, that's going to be interesting then. Because I had him do his whole change of weapon thing. All right, let's see. They're going to go blasting. Their range is actually pretty good. They can clip me through that door, it seems like. A wounding ray. Okay, he's doing okay. It would have been a long battle to try to beat them all up. Oh, can he fly over here? Oh my god, I didn't... Oh no, that's actually really surprising. I had no idea. That's wild. All right, don't worry. We're going to make it out somehow, I hope. Okay, you're dashing. Don't blast. You can't be able to blast, can you? If you can, I'll be so mad. All right, good. Hope, you're ready. Get out of here. All right, she's out. Next... We go over to Gel. Gel is going to be out too. The other spectator I need to worry about is right behind us. So what do we do about that? Well, a darkness would be good. Blinded. That's a start. You need more movement? Well, you've got it, bud. And thankfully, they don't know how to use a ladder, so we're going to be all right. It was a bit messier than I would have liked. I think I could have done it a bit neater with Asterion, but hey. I may have gone back to the fountain. That way, I could summon all the creatures I want to. There's a few lower-leveled ones I could bring in, but I chose not to. I've got Mud Methods, I've got an Earth Elemental, two Devas, and two Mummies, too. Oh, I once again did use Hero's Feast, level 6 Aid. And I got Hope to drink an Elixir of Vigilance. She'll be able to move a bit more. Also, what's in here? Oh, the portal room. Well, why isn't Raphael in here? It links to a bunch of major cities. Like Baldur's Gate. I can't go through? Salty air, the patter of feet. Baldur's Gate lies beyond. Water deep? Water deep. The crown of the north. Never winter. Never winter. Jewel of the north. We spend a lot of time here. Ooh, what about these areas? This portal leads directly to the frigid citadel of Mephista, nestled in the hells. Secrets of the port city of Luskan flutter behind this portal. Menzo Baranzan, the jewel of the underdark, lies beyond. Well, now we know. All right, we'll go on. I did miss talking to that one mason, but that's unfortunate. That's okay, though. That's what future playthroughs are for, where we get to be evil. But, oh, man, are we going to have the stomach for it, for the evil things that you can do? Like, remember, we could have turned Shadowheart over to Viconia. Three? 
Okay, tell me. He's almost home now, closer than a kiss. No time for chitter chatter. It's tempting to delay the inevitable. But this is it. The big showdown, the final act, the glorious run that comes to us all. There is also the slim possibility that we win. Yeah, there's a chance. All right, let's get to it. Is he here? Oh, he's not here yet. I've got to press that portal, but that also gives me time to prepare if I want to. I could set up a few glyphs. I could do a lot, actually. Yeah, I could even bring out my spiritual weapon, then click the portal. That way it's already here. So I've got a few ideas. I mean, it might not be able to last through the conversation. That's true. So that might not work out. But a glyph or two, that would be nice to have. I wish I had more than walls of fire for Shadowheart, but that's a lot of what I have. I've got, let's see, a blade barrier. That could do it. But no, I like what I have right now. I think it'll be okay. It'll be all right. We'll get ready. We'll see what we can do. Radiant damage might be an issue, but that's okay too. Yeah, I've got my elemental weapon. I've got a bunch of ways for me to just deal more damage, and that should be the key to survival. All right. I think we're roughly ready to go. Let's go click on that. Time slows for a moment, and the air becomes thicker. The master of the house is coming. You... There are many things in your world that I loathe. Litters of kittens, chattering children, the noise, and the chaos of it all. In my world, in my house, there is order, and there is decorum. You came here uninvited, and you stole from me. In doing so, you brought the chaos of your world into mine. I will not abide it. Everyone here serves you out of fear or whatever else. It's over, Raphael. You can't stop me. I'm not entirely sure that he won't. Oh, Hope. You are such a piteous thing. All it takes is a crumb from the table and you forget the centuries of starvation. This insolence has earned you centuries more. Carilla, tell our unwelcome guest about your role in their tragic downfall. I permitted you the freedom to decide your own fate. You could have been smart selfless, saved the world. Instead, you came here and risked everything. It's the fatal flaw of mortal kind. Take away their free will and they call you a tyrant. Allow them to indulge it and they become tyrants. You would have been heroes if you'd only dealt fairly with me. Instead, you're not so different to doomed Cassus, overreaching your limits and burning your world to Wrong! 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 They will save their world and smash you to smithereens! It's this charming naivety that makes your company such a joy to me, Hope. I'll even forgive this little rebellion once you're suitably chastised. This isn't a rebellion. It's a revolt. I'm revolting! <laughs> Then hope dies today. Commander, you can salvage a trophy from these insects when I'm done with them. Gladly. Now hold on. Join the winning side. Raphael doesn't stand a chance against me. You're a hunter. You're down here in the hells. We don't hunt devils just because they're devils. When they're in our realm, they get to go back home. 
Edrahill makes sure of it. But we're in the Hells, their home. All right. A DC of 30, I doubt I can make it, but we'll try. Never mind, at 31. To stand against a devil in his own home. Hmm. That takes courage. I'm with you. How tiresome. Am I to understand that you wish to die with them? I wish to fight with them. It's all the same in the end. If you have any last words, make it quick. It will only take a moment to finish you. No, I don't really have any words at all. I'll say nothing. No words? No matter. You will scream before the end, little mouse. Now, down comes the claw. We get to go first, okay. I did spread out my mini companions because you never want them all grouped together. That's an easy way to die, especially when you've got mud methods who leave behind mud whenever they blow up. And who's singing? I would like to imagine it's Hope or even Corilla. I don't want to kill her. If I'm able to save her, I'll try to. All right, Gail, only you get to go first. We're fighting how many Cambians? Six total. The pillars are activated. I do see an icon for Radiance. Okay. That's what I want to go after. Oh, I did leave Raphael a present. Look at that. It's Harlap. I thought he would want it right between his legs. All right, a globe of invulnerability. That way we'll be able to survive for a full round and see what Raphael can do. Wait, hold on. Raphael. Did you become so angry that you've begun a musical? <laughs> That's amazing. Well, there's not too much more for me to do, so I'm going to end my turn. What is he going to do? He's moving right by us. I'm not worried about your spells. There we are. We're alive. We're doing okay. He's able to consume the souls from the pillars. All right. Thankfully, he is focused on us. My goal will probably be to get rid of the pillars, the Cambians, then Raphael. Especially if those pillars are able to, of course, restore him. There's one Deva. All right. They're able to fly around, so I wanted them everywhere. And you're done. That's all that I wanted you to do. Or you can fly over here. That's true. Yeah, there we go. The other Deva hit that pillar. And Raphael. I'm going to get you later, but not right now. For now, Edrahill's going to move over to Corilla. We'll try to save her. It's a waste of my turn, but I'm going to do it. We'll knock her out. One HP. Aren't you lucky? Then we'll shove her away. Perfect. She's going to be okay. All right. I could try to attack. I could Misty Step. Wait, no, I can't. There goes my bonus action. No! All right. Instead, we're going to rush attack back into the globe. Mobility. It's a power. All right, we're done. Your gear, it's going to be your turn. What can you do? Ooh, a burst. Okay, you hurt yourself. Was that truly intentional? I don't know. He didn't deal a lot of damage. Yeah, he's not going to be a great help. Beating him would have been easy. The Cambians are more of a pain. They've got more HP. They're stronger. Lazel, I could have you easily take out the pillars. Oh yeah, you could do that so fast. Or, again, we just go after what we're able to hit, like the Cambians. That's probably what we'll do in a moment. But, what about a blade barrier? Oh yeah, that would be a lot of damage on a lot of enemies. We could put that down all over here, or all down here. Don't you block me. Yeah, there we go. That's wild to look at. Oh, my bad, your gear. <laughs> He's a devil, I don't care. All right, a mall level four, and we'll put it by that pillar. Nice, more HP, more damage. We're good to go. She's done. Lazel, you'll have to jump up here. It's not safe, but I want them to, of course, move closer to us. So instead, go after the other Cambion, where we've got a few teammates. Topple or a stun? A stun first. We'll try that. 
Since you can't do anything, what a waste for you. All right, let's go back. Thank you, Globe. All right, so you're now bleeding. You're not stunned. A shame. We'll try again. Now you're stunned. Time to be toppled. Oh, yeah. I know you're a fan of that one. Another attack. Look at all of that damage. 98 HP left. Then we can move up to another enemy. Or we could move back. I can't quite make it into the globe, can I? Let's see. Ah, so close. Okay, Hope, it's your turn. You've got Revoke Guest Status. Well, that's really good, which means you're able to banish a Cambion. That's all that I want you to do right now. Awesome. And she's going to wait here. Yeah, move on through if you want to. All right. Well, I'm not worried. I'll be okay. Yeah, we're doing fine. I knew they could jump down, but I was hoping. I was hoping maybe they would try to run through. Oh well. I could always like try to shove them in. They won't be able to easily move back. They would have to jump. That could also be good. We can't hurt each other, so I like to imagine we're all slapping each other inside of that globe. In fact, Gal, you should begin your own business. Make a globe. Have people go inside who want to kill each other. They don't get to die. Everyone wins. You get paid. All right. Next, the mummy will go after the Cambion. Dreadful glare. A decent chance to frighten that enemy. They are frightened. Good. Mummy number two, you get to use multi-attack. Let's stay away from the elemental if we can. Nice work. Okay. A very good job. The mud methods, they get to hit a pillar. 22 damage. Not bad. The other method. We'll hit that one. And there's my spiritual weapon. 30 damage. Even better. Okay, elemental. Let's hit that Cambion right by us. Ooh, yeah. I've got to watch out for my allies. I really do. Back over to Gale. So, we need to do something about the enemies who are inside. But I've also got to get rid of the enemies who are outside. Artistry of War. I don't want to use it yet. What I have right now, let's see, I could use a good lightning bolt. If I use ice, that could knock down all of my little minions. That's really the big issue that we have right now. We've got so many little teammates who could be harmed, so we're trying to avoid that. If I could knock down Raphael, though, that would be awesome. Here's a cone of cold. Encrusted. Let's have a look at that real quick. All right. Disadvantage on dexterity saving throws even better oh man if i could freeze him that would be so cool but there we are an invocation a counter spell level four no i'll save it oh right they're gonna blow up then spawn a creature uh oh well you can't harm any of us you're wasting your time i would like to imagine he's so prideful so arrogant that he believes he could break through that globe nope not for gale all right, more attacking. Nothing being done so far. I won't be able to keep it up forever, but for now, it's working out. All right, we got that pillar. And here's another. Keep on hitting them. Nice work. They're not broken. Not yet. I do want to push out a few enemies, but for the moment, we'll just go after the Cambians. Like I said before, my goal is to limit them. Ooh. You don't have fleeting protection anymore, so there's my Divine Smite level 2. A bonus attack from my Great Weapon Master. One gone. Knocked out. Hilarious. All right. We can't go after the other. That's unfortunate. I can't make it over there. So movement has really been keeping me back. A hamstring shot. Oh, yeah. That would be nice. I would like to use that. An arrow of transposition. That would be fine if I could use it, but... Anyway, a miss. Ah, too bad. All right. Let's move up a little bit. You're done. Your gear, it's your turn. Move away from that. Ooh. Right by Raphael. But you're going after... Oh, that target. What a bad idea. Wait. Wait. You idiot! Oh my god, your gear. You're going to kill all of us. <laughs> you're kidding me. 
You are a monster. All right. Hold on. We've got to move back inside. <laughs> that might be one of the funniest things that have that has ever happened to me in this game. <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's go after the ones who are over here, right? Let's go do that. I could try to push them away. Hope, I need you to move back in. They're going to try to hit you. Improved warning flare. No, let her take a little bit of damage. I've got a plan. It's going to be okay. We'll move her inside. We'll go after the one that has more HP. There we go. I don't like Gale being there. That makes me very, very nervous. She's done. She got rid of another Cambion. Okay. Shadow Heart. You could bind that creature. Let's try it out. Yeah, that's a better call, I think. A new ally. I like it. I'll take it. All right, you didn't really take any damage. That's awesome. So you're done. Lazelle, it's your turn. We don't need to go after that Cambion. Instead, we'll go after the one that's left. Nice. Okay, topple them. Do it. They're not toppled. Stun them if you can. You've got the key. We'll save a bit of key for Raphael. Yeah, we'll have to do that, I think. I don't want to use it all right away. All right, they're able to attack me. I'll have to wait for now. That Cambion will go after that. Oh boy, don't blow it up. Oh, there's another. I see them. Disarming strike. Didn't work. Going after my Deva, huh? Improved warning flare. A miss? Shame on you. Another rush attack. Alright, a piercing strike on Lazelle. Here's your counter. Punch back. 16 damage. Ooh, two critical hits. That was actually kind of bad. Alright, they are frightened. Multi-attack. Let's do it. Two misses. Sad. Alright, other mummy. Don't let me down. Well, you made one hit. That pillar is nearly gone. 26 damage. But other method. These pillars, next turn, they should go down. I might be able to take out the one that's right here, but I don't want to do that just yet. Yeah, I want to avoid doing that if I'm able to help it. So let's not hit it. The elemental will have it go after that pillar. Yeah, sure. Hit me if you want. Doesn't matter. You missed anyway. All right. 32 damage. A ton of damage. Gale, move back inside, all right? You've got to move back inside because we're so close to where we need to be. He is pretty frosty. I would like to frost him up more, but I don't want to hit our buddies. Instead, we're going to use our classic, you know what it is, a magic missile at level four. We'll go after that Cambion. Let's just shoot him up. Got him. All right, one less Cambion to worry about. We get to maintain what we have. He's blinded by Shadowheart's weapon. Doesn't really matter right now. That one debtor is poisoned, but not destroyed. That's good. Oh, another one. Counterspell level four. No, we'll save it again. I'm not worried about a few minor minions. Consume souls. Yep, there it is. And we'll just have to wait. How much longer do we have on our globe? Everything nearly went to hell. Oh, that would have been terrible. All right, let's begin. One gone. I want to go after another one. Whichever one. Let's fly over here. Our job is done. Or your job is done. All right, other Deva. Hit that one. Cool. Stay by that other Kimbian. So much for peace. Edrahill. What do you need to go after? Well, that one is only knocked out. We've got Raphael, who's got Soul Overcharge, meaning what? Let's see. Oh, he transforms. That's going to be interesting. I wish I didn't know that. I just wanted a little bit of information, but not too much information. All right, so to do anything else, we could go after the last Cambion by just Misty Stepping. Let's do that. I want them all just gone. Oh, come on. You missed. Try again. Cool. That worked out. You made your saving throw. You're okay. Your sword heals you up. You're not taking a lot of damage. There's your gear. Please don't kill me. Okay. All right. That's okay, I suppose. Oh my god. That's a lot. Okay. What do we do about that? 
Spirit Guardians? Yeah, Spirit Guardians. Radiant Damage? Yeah, Radiant Damage. Let's make it a level 5 casting for fun. Alright, they can't hurt me. Not too much, anyway. Oh, I can't use it in the globe. Oh, that's good to know. I didn't know that. Now I do. I could let her go out for two turns, but we're not going to do that either. We're just going to wait here for the time being. All right, Lazelle, you've taken out your targets. We've got another pillar that you could get rid of. Drink a potion for one. Yeah, patch up. We'll go after that pillar. Nice. Two pillars gone. That leaves, what, one left. Okay. Our last turn in our globe, then we've got to go. After that, we've got to do something. Sneak attack. Yeah, sure. Got that rogue in ya. All right, she's good to go. Hope, you are too. You can't banish anyone else, but you could bless us. Yeah, do that. Why not? Lazelle, Shadowheart, Gel, and you. Cool. All right. We've got two more Cambians to worry about. I did have one under control, but forget about it. I would rather do something else. But of course, it was a waste because I didn't know about the globe's effect on my spirit guardians. I thought it would just be there, but it wouldn't harm anyone. That was incorrect. All right, let's kill that one Cambian for fun. Bye-bye. All right, next we get to move after our other targets. I wish I could select to make my minions autonomous. That could cause issues, but sometimes it would be convenient, I think. All right, my little mud buddies, which is a terrible phrase, by the way. <laughs> I don't really want mud around me, so they're just going to chill back over here for the moment. Yeah, I don't want them doing too much. We got it, right? Come on. Hit it. Yeah, we got it. All right, we got all the pillars. He's going to be so angry. Let's bring my weapon down, or try to. If you can't do that, then just move. All right, Earth Elemental, you're going to bounce over here right by our other new buddies. Howdy. All right. Get to hitting. Cool. Two prone. Very convenient. Uh-oh. Oh, I don't like that. That seems bad for all of us. All right. What we'll do then, we're going to move away for just a moment. Like that. And Arcane Battery. Ice Storm. No, a better Ice Storm. A level 6 Ice Storm. Just to get kind of crazy with it, right? Let's do that. Let's hit them all. I don't want to hit Hope. I don't want Hope to fall. The Deva will be hit, but that's okay. All right, let's begin. Yeah, there we go. That's a lot of extra damage. Then, drink your potion, stay alive, don't die. All right, his turn. I hate this a lot. Oh, he fell prone. Yes! Oh, it worked! <laughs> oh, he's embarrassed. You know he is. Which means if he begins to sing, he'll sing from his back. All right, let's go after that Cambion. Smiting time. Frightened again. Hey, that could help out the mummies. Good to know. All right. Continue. Divine Smite level two. An extra attack. We'll go after the other Cambion. He's tearing them up. You know what? You deserve one. At least one. Let's move by him, but not away from him. There's your gear. He's jumping. Oh. Okay, a dagger. All right, not too bad. He's not dead. It's only a bit of baby damage, but I'll take the baby damage. Okay, Raphael. You're not going to like it. But back to my spirit guardians. Oh, necrotic. No, 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 no. Radiant, because I want you to have orbs. It's a medical condition called orbs. Now you've got it. <laughs> cool. All right. Reflective Shell for two turns. Yeah, let that envelop you. No concentration? Cool. Yeah, take that. Yep, he's singing from his back. That's how angry he is. You will ascend. Sounds intense. All right, let's move over here. If we could stun him, that would be awesome. You've got, what, five key points. A high chance to hit him. No more punished divinity. Nice. We'll keep on trying. A critical hit. We can't do it again. He is already toppled. So that won't do too much. We'll just keep on punching. Yeah. Now my radiant damage seems to be okay. I could push him away or stagger him. 
No reactions? Well, he can't do it anyway right now, so it doesn't really matter. All right, what about a bonus action, a key punch? Yeah, there we go, 16 damage. I like that. Hope it's your turn again. All right, so I'm gonna have you move far, far away for the moment. You're gonna have to jump. Yeah, just jump somewhere, not by your sister. Don't do that, but maybe over here. I don't want her doing too much just yet. Then I want her to drink a potion. She should, no. I wonder, could I give it to her? No, I can't seem to give it to her. Shoot, I was hoping. That didn't work out. All right, preserve life. Your allies, well, that would be okay, I guess, but we'll just wait. Or a guiding bolt for fun. We could do that as well, like a level three guiding bolt on Raphael, just to hit him. 17 damage, hey. You got to hit him. That's got to feel good. Raise of fire? Nah. Improved warding flare? Try that one. Oh, one damage? Okay. There's an imp. Going blasting? Okay, well, if you want to go blasting, your gear's not going anywhere. All right, the mummies get to strike again. We'll go after the boar. Don't fall. Cool. Oh, we got that boar. Nice. Next, we'll jump right by Raphael just to bother him. My other mummy... If you don't mind, hit the imp. Oh, you fell prone. Okay, well, that's life, right? Mud methods. Again, I could dismiss you, but you would still blow up into mud. All right, there's one boar. Rushing. Ooh, but falling prone anyway. Ice is so powerful. It's so powerful. Another rush. Did it fall prone? Well, I think it died. It did something. I don't know. Doesn't matter. All right. Spiritual weapon, let's go after... Oh, can you not hit him? Well, that's unfortunate. Man, you really just cannot move far. That's okay, though. You're nearly there in one turn. You'll finally make it. All right, we'll go after the imp. Eight damage, also prone. Cool. Back over to Gel. So, Gel, what are you going to do? He's already frosty. We could, I don't know, completely frost him. I've also got my Artistry of War. That could do some serious stuff to him. A Cone of Cold. For fun. Yeah, let's do a Cone of Cold for fun. I never get to really use it, right? So, I'm going to use it right now. Let's go. All right. Well, he made his save. Unfortunate. I'm saving my Artistry of War. I'm going to use it later. If he transforms, I don't know if he'll get his HP back or whatever. Let's see. Falls on Shadowheart. Ooh. Two hits. He's not missing a lot, so he missed only, what, once? Nice, Lazel. Okay, he didn't transform into whatever he was going to transform into. Let's take out the Imp just to get rid of it. Nice. Ooh, all that extra damage in response, right? How could I forget? The other David will go after that Cambion. So, systematically, I think we're just doing okay. Don't miss. Come on. Don't embarrass me. You can't hit him, huh? Wait, you can. You could try. Let's try it out now. Another miss. Blast. All right. Yurgir's turn. I nearly want to just put him somewhere else because he's going to get me killed. I mean, that worked out. Provided he doesn't burst us away again, we'll be all right. All right. Shadowheart. What do I even want you to do for the moment? We've got Radiance of the Dawn. Yeah, that could work out, I guess. Let's try it out. That other Cambion is dead. Cool. Yoink! Alright. Some damage on him. And after that, drink a potion. Then, move away. Or stay there, because he would hit you. Alright, we'll keep on trying to stun him. Nope, nothing yet. I'm running out of key. Don't think I'll be able to manage a stun on him, but a topple, that could work. Nope, it did not. All right, we'll just keep on punching like that. And Hope, what do you get to do? Well, you're going to continue to just wait over here for now and do that. You two can patch up a little bit, right? Or at least yourself. Yeah, stay alive. The mummy will try to frighten him if we can. Who knew? My army's better than your army. Of course... Hope being able to do that, being able to banish two Cambians, that saved me so much time. That was awesome. You know what? Bye, buddy. Muddy one and muddy two. Later. Not here to waste time. 
All right, let's hit Raphael. A miss. And for the Earth Elemental, there's not too much for you to do other than just wait there. I could dismiss you as well. All right, Artistry of War. It's finally time. Let's go after Raphael. Every single shot's going to hit him. All right. 258 HP. My army helped out a lot. Oh, there it is. Now he's ascended. Ooh, a Raging Inferno. Counterspell level four. Please work. Yes. Okay. A good start. He's attacking your gear. Not a lot of damage. Ooh, moving away. Divine Smite level three. 46 damage. Another hit by Shadowheart. Holy crap. You know he's mad. He's big mad. All right. Whoa, you did hit. 22 damage. Nice work, dude. You'll jump down too, which means he'll be surrounded by everyone. He won't be able to move away. We've bodied him. We've blocked him in. That's even better. All right. Let's see. What am I going to do here? Oh, is it a, a Divine Smite? Yeah, maybe. A Daze would be good for a bonus action, but no, no, no. no. We're going to Divine Smite level 3. We'll try it out. Come on. It did hit. Another Divine Smite, you say? Oh, yeah. We're going to do that every day. A miss, unfortunate. Now we'll try to Pommel Strike him. He made his save. A little bit of extra damage. Your gear's turn. A ranged attack. Ooh, 19 further damage. Cool. Alright, what else do we have here that you could use that wouldn't get us all killed? Radiance of the Dawn. Huh. Oh, right, because it uses your channel divinity. 17 damage. Hope. I had a divine intervention. See, this was in my back pocket. Opulent Revival. It gives you a long rest in the middle of combat. She's got her extra damage, but I didn't really need that. So, let's try it out. A level 4... Let's see. Guiding Bolt. 10 HP left. She nearly got the killing blow. That would have been awesome. But instead, martial arts. Get punched. We did it. It's absolutely preposterous that any of us are alive. Maybe we're not. Pinch yourself and check we're not dreaming the last of our lives as we die screaming. No. We're okay. We're fine, Hope. We did it. Then we're not just fine. We're spectacular. What a wonderful, jubilant, glorious day. My beautiful sister is mostly intact. You could have broken her in half like a breadstick, but you didn't. I am sorry she fought you. I'm glad she survived. Yeah. I mean, look. She was under Raphael's influence. She didn't deserve to die, in my view. She deserves some of the blame. Serving him was a choice, but she was an entire person before she ever made that choice. When we were children, she always kept the last piece of pastry for me and bloodied the nose of the bullies who pulled my hair. She's my sister. I love her. And despite all the years I've lost, I have enough love left for you as well. I hope it guides you home. For the first time since you heard her voice, hope seems calm. And the peace flows from her into you, soothing your very soul. You should come with me. And go where? I don't think I quite know how to be anywhere else but here anymore. With a lick of paint and a thorough cleaning, this could be a lovely little house. And I can hardly leave. After all, who would ever want to think of hell without hope? I hope I'll see Carilla again one day, and that she'll say sorry, and I'll tell her she's forgiven. I hope I find all the pieces of my mind that fell out of my head over all those years, and that I'll be able to put myself back together again. I hope the echoes of pain will fade. And memories of sorrow will die. And that you'll visit me here someday. And I hope you have a happy ending 
of your own. That was truly beautiful. All right. We get Gloves of Soul Catching. Your unarmed attacks deal an additional 1 to 10 force damage once per turn. On an unarmed hit, you regain 10 hit points. Alternatively, you may forego healing to gain advantage on attack rolls and saving throws until the end of your next turn. Constitution plus 2. Dang. All right. Well, that's awesome. All right. What do you have, Raphael? You got your diary. Oh, your little diary. Some gold and some alcohol. That's mine now. And Hell Dusk Armor. Okay, so we've got the set, right? You are considered proficient with this armor while wearing it. Infernal Retribution. When you succeed a saving throw, the caster receives burning for three turns. Bleh. All right, let's see. You have resistance to fire damage and cannot be burned. You take three less damage from all sources. Well, that could be interesting. All right. We've done our part. I wonder if I could wake up Corilla. She's knocked out, but could I wake her up? That would be interesting. I don't really know. Let's see. Lay on hands. Cure? Nah. Greater healing. Let's try it out. Wake up. Nothing? Nope. Still knocked out. Okay. I'll talk to your gear. Hmm. You fought well. We could use such strength in the blood war. Now I'm free of Raphael's blasted contract. I can return to the front lines. Yeah, that's great. Well, let's see here. I have my own front line to return to in Baldur's Gate. Whoever your enemies are, they have good reason to fear you. And I'll gladly lend you my skills against them when the time comes. Until then, good luck to you, little rabbit. You're a finer hunter than any wolf. Yeah, I don't really have any problem with him. He's not really done too much to me. He's had to work for Raphael. They've been bound. Corilla. It would be funny if I could, like, take her with me. That would be hilarious, I think. Report for Raphael. Let's see. All right. Somehow word that the Orphic Hammer is in the House of Hope. And it's gotten out. I'd wager it was Hellsick. Yeah, that's true. All right. I'll get my gold back later, too. I'll get Asterion to pickpocket her. I think it's finally time to go back home. I've done what I came here to do. I beat a devil. I have part of my army left, which is awesome. I could even short rest and do more if I wanted to. Welcome rest. Or I could go back over to that bathhouse, get all of my spell slots back, do even more stuff after that. That could be cool. I'm ready to go back home. So you wormed your way into the devil's lair. Risked mind, limb, and freedom. All to steal the Orphic Hammer. I hope your ambitions end there. I have already told you that the Githyanki Prince only wants to see you dead. But it seems you still do not trust me. Open the prism. I trust Gith's heir over a wretched geek. No. His domination is what keeps you free. You know this already. Still, you would test our alliance. You are falling into the same trap as the Chosen. Their distrust of one another is their undoing. We must not make the same mistake. We must work together. No, we're not going to do that. <laughs> be that as it may, Orpheus deserves to be free. And what then? When he wakens from his incarceration, what do you think he will make of you? The one who bears the spawn, his very nature bends him to revile? And even if you survived him, what of the Elder Brain? Without the protection I leverage for you, you would be enthralled in an instant. Nah, I'll be okay. So you keep saying, but why should I believe you? Act upon your disbelief, and you will not even live to regret your actions. You may think yourself ingenious for having slain a devil, but you have merely ironed out a wrinkle. The Elder Brain will not be such an easy foe. 
It is time we resume our journey to find it. Nah. Exhausted. Better find somewhere to camp soon. We also need to clean up, create water. Yeah, poor Shadowheart. I would have changed her build. Just because of the fact that, man, she's got a lot of fire spells. Light cleric, but a lot of fire. Alright, let's get out of here. I'll come back for my loot later. What else do we have in here that we could look at? There's probably some really fun stuff, I would imagine. Like that. An orb of infernal envisioning. Within the ball you see Raphael, broken and bloody, dangling above the maw of the archdevil Mephistopheles, who is preparing to devour him. Oh, well then we know his fate. Oh, <laughs> Yeah, we're going to give that contract back to Mole. We'll do that. Then we'll go talk to Boss. Which means we've got to go to the Undercity. That's my big goal at the moment. Oh, hold on. Why were you following me? Uh-oh, uh-oh. Hold on. We need to leave. We need to leave right now. Get me out of here. I'm running. Does she know that I took from her? I have no idea, but we're getting out of here. All right, let's go talk to Mole. That shouldn't be too difficult, I think. I just need to teleport down there to the sewers, to the Undercity ruins. Nope, city sewers. There's Mole. Then it's a hop and a skip away to boss. Ready to do some business? Actually, though, I found the contract you signed with Raphael. Do you want it? Give me that! Can't have this floating around loose. I thought I was meant to be the thief. Yeah, is that how you survived the Shadowlands? A deal with Raphael? So what if it is? Choosing the right allies is just common sense. You wouldn't have made it this far on your own. Big Raph doesn't own me. He's just giving me the tools to keep myself alive and to take what I want. As for what that is, well, you didn't think I planned to stop at running the Fetch's brats, did you? Oh boy, I shouldn't have given that to you. But all right, I hope you don't regret it me when I'm running this whole guild and see how easily the gold wipes away any regrets I do have okay all right but let's see there will be no guild to run if the city falls can I count on your help when the fighting begins a DC of 15 easy enough I think 20 and that 20 I wouldn't miss it for the world Baldur's Gate is home now and the brats are my family Nobody messes with my family. I heard Voss talking to someone when I was passing by the other route. Oh, hello. We await your good word. Level 17. You don't belong here. Who? Come closer. Tell me what you see. Oh, they likely don't like my minions. I wonder if my Deva would be okay. I'll see. Okay, I'm going to consider the Dragonborn's face and mannerisms. Let's try that. A wisdom check. Ouch. All right, I'll give it a go. 23. His voice carries the weight of untold centuries, and his ridges are scarred with uncounted battles. This is no Dragonborn. This is a red dragon, the very same who carried Voss near the Gith Crash. We saw him a long time ago. I know you, Red Dragon. It is so. Call me Kudenos. Master of flames, splitter of skies. I will be the one to carry Voss into battle against Vlakith. And I will be the one to breathe the flames that melt her. The Red Dragon Rebel? Or Rebel, rather. How many of you are there? More than I could count. We were pacted by the archdevil Tiamat and forced to serve the Gith Yankee. It is to the people that I'm loyal, not to the Lich Vlakith, a corpse in Gith clothing. I know Orpheus, just as I knew his mother. A new future will be planted in the wake of the comet. All right, well, that's really interesting. How incredibly powerful, too. Until we meet again, mortal. 
I look forward to fighting alongside you. Vlakith will tremble at the sound of our roar. I've got to wonder who would win, Raphael or the dragon. Anyway. Have you brought the Orphic Hammer? I sure have. The Prince of the Comet is not dead. The Prince of the Comet will come again. The Prince of the Comet will liberate us from the Lich Queen's tyranny. The prophecy is one step closer to fruition. Gith's son will soon ride against Vlakith, Voss. And I will follow him into battle. And you will wield the greatest gift Mother Gith ever granted her dauntless children. A silver sword. I will carry it for the honor of Gith, the great liberator, and her unforgotten son. Istik, now that you have the hammer, you must find a way to enter the astral prism. Once inside, smash Orpheus's bonds. His cry will shake the plains, and I will fly to your aid. The Prince of the Comet will sear the heavens again. First we'll defeat the Absolute, then we let the Lich Queen tremble. Think again. I will not permit your entry. Yeah, I had a feeling. I'm going to ignore him. Questions, Istik? You seem to be lost in thought. Getting into the Ashel Prism will be complicated. Yes. But you will meet this challenge, as you've met so many others. And won't Orpheus attack me? The Prince of the Comet aches for Gith Yankee liberation more than he abhors Geich. He might seethe when you free him. He might gnash his teeth and slander your name. But he will see reason. I promise you. Okay, I'll believe you. Istik, friend to Orpheus. Together we will end the Elder Brain which shakes this city. Then I turn my sights to Vlakith, the Queen of Deceit. Look at that blade. That means that, unfortunately, Blazel won't be a monk anymore. I can make Karlak a monk. Yeah, that would work out, but I'm trying to rectify the fact that she wouldn't be able to rage. Though, her temper, her rage, that was really only indicated whenever we first met her and we saved those paladins. I mean, she's had like a few points of getting all steamed up, but it doesn't really feel that unique to her. That might be a bit weird to say, but let me know what you think, because I know that the blade that we have is probably a big deal to Lazel, so I would need to make her a fighter again. I could make her like a paladin fighter or whatever else. Yeah. So I've got ideas, but I do want to hear from all of you on what you think is right. Because, have a look. I could use it, but I wouldn't be able to get as much from it, unfortunately. It is a 2d6, which is awesome. Let's see. When wielded by a Gith Yankee, this weapon deals an additional 1 to 6 psychic damage. Gith born psionic resistance. A Gith Yankee holding this weapon has advantage on intelligence, wisdom, and charisma saving throws, resistance to psychic damage, and cannot be charmed. Whoa, plus 3 as well. So it's really good. I mean, we also have really good monk gear too, but I'm trying to think about what would be suitable for Lazel in our narrative for our story. But we've got it. Let's talk to her. Since I was old enough to hold a blade, I've dreamt of wielding a silver sword. The swords cleave both meat and mind, body and brain. To swing one, mesmerizing. To be slain by one, agonizing. Everyone I bleed with the sword will be my tribute to Prince Orpheus. I'm gonna try a history roll. That might not go well, but I'll give it a go. Think on your knowledge of Get the Yankee Silver Swords. What details did Lazel miss? DC of 18. I've got my headband. Well, I'd like to put it on. Hey, I'll take it. You recall another fact about silver swords. The Get the Yankee forbid their use by all other peoples. I could use Disguise Self, become one. <laughs> I would do that, but I feel like that would be weird for cutscenes. I assume that you would still look like one during a cutscene, but I could be wrong. Only Gith are permitted to wield these swords, right? Only Gith's children may wield swords of silver. Unless a Githyanki grants the right in exceptional circumstance. 
The Illithid Grand Design nears. The true heir is shackled. These are exceptional circumstances. I grant my allies the right to my silver. Okay, that's pretty cool. She's open to it. She's had a dream of it, so we could keep her as a monk or we could turn her back into a fighter. Yeah, once I hear back from all of you and I see what might prevail as the majority opinion, then I'll go with that. All right. Now tell me about that silver sword. What makes it so special? A Kithrak silver sword is more than a weapon. It is an extension of your will, an entire limb unto itself. You merely need to think strike, and it strikes. The sword carves the correct path and carries your arm with it. The ancient slates tell us that each sword holds a fragment of the living gate, a flesh portal made from the stuffs of nightmare. The terrible living gate, thinner than a lamb's hair and hidden deep beneath the Feywild. The silver injures the body, the gate's flesh injures the mind, a formidable weapon against Gaeth. That's wild. Could that sword make Orpheus a free geth? Certainly not, or the prince's honor guard would have already fractured his prison. Only the Orphic hammer can break Orpheus free. All right, I got it. Let's go. Let's have a look at what other missions we have. We probably won't be able to get to Orpheus until later on. That's all right. Look at my many allies too. All right, so we'll have to wait to complete that quest. We still do have, let's see, the quest for Asterion. We've got to save the Duke, and that's really it. Oh, also, we would need to go after Gortash, but I would probably want to do that after handling the Steel Watchers. Let me know which quest you want to see. And of course, we've got a few other minor ones as well. I say minor, but... Who knows? Yeah, we've got some major stuff, but we are getting closer to the very end. Step by step, we are getting there. Now, I think I'll talk to a few companions, at least a few. That's the last of Raphael. I'll be glad to no longer have to suffer his smug face. Yeah, same. Will? Raphael's good and gone. Feels damn good too. Now. If only I could get rid of the other devil in my life. No kidding. Raphael is no more. I shall not shed any tears. I feel so bad for him. He doesn't have much of a role in Act 3. I really wish he had more to do and say. He's all stoic, but he's done nothing. And two druids, that's a lot. To slay a devil in his domain is to end him entire. Or it should be. I am still primed to hear some slimy final rhyme from beyond the grave. Yeah, he would need plot armor for that one. Getting a devil in the hells? Ooh, they're done for. Ah, oh, damn it! To end a devil in the hells is to end him for true! Who was hoping to make a hobby of killing Raphael over and over again? Yeah, I bet. Alright, let me get out of here. I'll talk to a few more companions. <laughs> Look at my little buddies. Oh man, I can begin my own dance club. Devas. Pay a few coins, have a good time. Please, El? The hammer is ours. The devil is snuffed out. Our power is undeniable. No kidding. You know, speaking of... I really do wonder... Who's going to be my final party? I have a feeling Shadowheart's going to be there. But who knows? What's on your mind? Oh, nothing? Really? Okay. What about you, Gal? <laughs> no amount of contracts will save Raphael from the fate we forced upon him. A devil well slain, if I say so myself. One more person. Asterion. Defeating a devil in his own home feels very, very good, actually. That cadence. <laughs> okay. 
And we'll also need to consider who's going to join our party for the next part, but I guess like part of that depends on what quests we do. I know that we've not had Will in a long time. I'll need to tweak his build a little bit, but we have many items for him. He's going to look insane, I think. It's going to be really cool to have him in Hell Dusk, even though I probably could pick a few other items to be better. Oh, unfortunately, Yin is scared of my minions, so I might need to get rid of all of them. Oh, come on. It's still here. Yeah, I'm scaring off pretty much everyone. All right, what about talking to the parents of Shadowheart? I'm starting to feel like my old self again. And Jen, I mean Shadowheart, has been able to unbottle some of the feelings that Shah denied to her. A great deal of damage was done to our family, but we can still heal. You sure can. All right. Wait, is he? He's a lycanthrope? I didn't know that. Wow. Huh. Wait, she shared memories with me? Did she? Am I going crazy? All right. Let's talk about it. I am. But with Saluna's guidance, I learned how to control the beast long ago. I only let it loose again when my family was threatened. Unfortunately, I was unable to stop what befell us. As neither elf nor wolf. What a story for him. What comes next? My wife will need care. I wish to find somewhere quiet, close to nature, where the sun can warm us and the moon can watch over us as we sleep. And Shadowheart, too, may wish to join us, perhaps, with her fine paramour at her side. Once you've put down this absolute threat together, I've gleaned enough from word around this camp to know you're more than capable. You will prevail. Could I wash them up? They're really dirty. And of course, Adrahil will be there, which means he might need to retire from his order. Yeah, he might have to. Because what we're doing here, I mean, that's really the adventure of a lifetime. Who knows? All right, so you accept your daughter's choice of name. Of course. Only a fool would alienate his child over a name. Shadowheart must determine her own path. That is what the Moon Maiden teaches. Still, I am unused to it. I can only hope she forgives a slip of the tongue now and again. Until I adapt. That's really sweet. And what happened during all those years? I'm sorry, but what happened in that room? That must stay within the family. Just know that we endured and are grateful for your help. I feel so bad for them. And the mother. I think things will be better now that we've talked to Shadow Heart. Much time was lost, but no more. Now we can be there for our daughter. That's really beautiful. I'm glad things worked out for you and your family. We are a small family. Smaller than I hoped for. But we are whole again. Oh, don't worry. Edrahill will take care of that. How do you feel? Old. I was a young woman when they seized me. Anel and I hoped Jen would be joined by siblings. But that dream's gone now. And there's a stranger in the mirror. But I still have my teeth. That first apple was worth the wait. They're breaking my heart. Screw Shar. What comes for you now? Now this old lady will be getting in the way in your fine camp, I'm afraid. Don't worry. I shall pull my weight and help how I can. After so long in captivity, it feels good to use my hands again. I agree. All right. Well, we spoke to them. We got a lot done. I feel pretty good about it. Again, ignore the blood. Don't ask questions. Well, you can, I just won't answer them. All right. Thank you for watching, everyone. Do leave a like right down below, and don't forget to give me your input on what we should do next. We are running out of options, which is a good thing. We are getting closer to that finale, but we're not there yet. The Duke, there's Kazador. We've got so much more to do. Oh, the Foundry as well. That's a big one, so we'll need to do that. And there's a few other quests that pertain to Baldur's Gate, the artist.
Huh, I wonder where Oscar is at. And those toys. Yeah, so there's a few other lines as well. For Lazelle, we'll probably need to confront the brain, I would imagine. And the crown, that'll come by later. All right, so that leaves Asterion. That leaves, let's see, Will. And that should largely be it. Outside of taking out Gortash, which we'll probably do maybe after everything before the Elder Brain. Yeah, we'll take him on. I hope it's a really serious fight, and we'll certainly bring Karlak for that fight. All right. Until then.